we have a new Apple MacBook Air on the way and I'll be sharing the details right after this. So today we've got plenty of news to share on the upcoming MacBook Air 2022 from Apple. Before we get started though, like the video if you're a fan of Apple, let me know in the comments who is waiting for the new MacBook Air and if you haven't already then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So we had many leakers telling us that the new MacBook Air was going to arrive at the peak performance event this week and it turns out that they were wrong about that plus a few other aspects of the MacBook. So first up we've got more news from Ming-Chi Kuo and to be fair Ming-Chi Kuo has been saying all along that the new MacBook Air is coming in the second half of this year. He tweeted earlier this week and according to Ming-Chi Kuo mass production is set to start late in the second quarter of this year or Q3 at the latest. Now we also said it's going to be powered by Apple's M1 chipset and given that no M2 chip was unveiled this week then it seems very likely. Now the MacBook Air is a more budget friendly MacBook and the M1 chipset is still a very capable chipset so it is a good fit for the device. Again he says that there's going to be no mini LED display in the MacBook Air and this means it's going to use a standard LED display. Now this was always likely not only because it is a more budget friendly device but Apple seem to be using mini LED in the Pro devices and this helps distinguish them from the cheaper models. Now DigiTimes have also issued a report and they say that the new MacBook Air is going to feature a mini LED display but to be honest DigiTimes say a lot and while some of it turns out to be true they also get a lot of information wrong. According to Ming-Chi Kuo though we do get a new form factor design with this year's MacBook Air and apparently it's not going to have the tapered design we have before and it's going to look more like the shape of the MacBook Pro. Now Leaker Dylan also agrees with this information and he says that the bezel on the new MacBook Air is actually going to be an off-white color and it's also going to have a white keyboard to match. John Prosser previously gave us this exact same information so with so many leakers saying the same thing it does look like it's happening or at least there must be a prototype out there that does look this way. We also have Ty98 saying that the new MacBook Air is going to have a notch and interestingly enough he was also the first to tell us that the MacBook Pro was going to have a notch. Ty98 also agrees that the new MacBook Air is going to look a lot better and Apple do plan to remove the current wedge design. While the current design transitions from thicker at the rear to thinner at the front, the new MacBook Air is going to have a rounded and flat design. Now with three reliable leakers all telling us of the same new design then it's looking very likely to happen. Now it's expected that the new MacBook Air is going to be thinner and lighter than the previous release although the display size is not expected to change. According to Minty Quo, we're also getting plenty of new color options and this is going to be similar to the iMac and that's available in a choice of blue, green, pink, silver, yellow, orange and purple. Now of course when it comes to release date we had many people like Abhishek Yadav telling us that it was at this week's event and unfortunately that just didn't happen. Now Ming Chi Kuo has already estimated either Q2 or Q3 of this year and if mass production is happening around that time then it's a very plausible launch. The MacBook Air is due a refresh and now seems like a good time for Apple to deliver one. For those of you excited for the new MacBook Air 2022 though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is going to be worth the wait. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video but if you are new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So the new MacBook Air 2022 is probably not going to be changing display size and this means it will get the same 13.3 inch display with a native resolution of 2560 by 1600 and this gives us 227 pixels per inch. Now while many sources are claiming that we get a mini LED display, it's very unlikely and it's expected to be a standard LED display. According to many leakers, we're also getting a notch design on the MacBook Air's bezel and this notch is going to house the 1080p center stage webcam. It's going to feature the magic keyboard along with Touch ID and while many rumors are stating that the bezel and the keyboard are going to be white, there hasn't been any solid confirmation just yet. It's going to be powered by the M1 chipset which is an impressive chipset and it's going to be well suited to the new MacBook Air. It's expected to come with 8GB of RAM as standard but it can be configured up to 16GB and when it comes to storage it's going to start from 512GB and this can be configured all the way up to 2TB. 
Now, given that size isn't changing too much, we expect a 50 watt hour battery, and this is gonna provide up to 18 hours of playback. We'll be getting two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, and this will have MagSafe charging. It's an aluminum body, and we're expecting a wide variety of colors, and this is gonna be similar to the iMax. And when it comes to prices, the new MacBook Air 2022 is expected to stay around the same price as its predecessor, so it should be starting from $999. Now overall, the MacBook Air is looking great, and it's a shame we didn't see it in March's launch, but at least the launch is not too far away. With minor design changes and upgraded hardware though, the new MacBook Air is sure to be a success. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below. So who out there is waiting for the MacBook Air, and if not, then what is your next Apple purchase? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.